Welcome back, LHS. I'm Emma. And I'm Charlie May, and this is your Blue, Blue Devil, Devil News. News. Do you need a small gift for a friend, or would you like to show your appreciation to a teacher? Now through December 12th, LHS Humane Society is selling candy grams. Here's Brady with more info. The LHS Humane Society is selling candy grams for the holiday season. They cost $2 each or $3 with delivery and a personalized note. We interviewed Ms. Jordan for more information. I am Ashley Jordan and I sponsor the Humane Society here at Loveland High School. Uh, the Humane Society supports animals who don't have a voice, so we support local animal shelters and donate our time to those animal shelters and their events. So we're selling candy grams to um, increase our funds in the Humane Society's account, but also to uh, send money to those local air animal shelters and it will go through December the 12th. Just buy your candy grams. They're two dollars a piece uh, unless you want them delivered and then they're three dollars. Talk to a member of the Humane Society, Miss Wilson, or Miss Jordan to order your candy grams. Back by popular demand, the junior class is once again selling crew neck sweatshirts for twenty dollars. You can purchase them in the bank or from Miss Alsop in B305. This year's spring musical is now Mary Poppins. Due to unforeseen circumstances, dance auditions have been moved to next Monday. Vocal auditions are tomorrow, December 8th at 3 o'clock in the choir room. A704? Yeah. Okay. The seventh annual Snowball is next Saturday in the Central Staircase. The dance starts at 6 p.m. and tickets are available at the bank for $15. Attire is semi-formal. Final exams will be December 19th and 20th for students who are not exempt. We'll share more about the schedule as we get closer to those dates. Teen Ready Testing resumes this week. MASA Part 2 is tomorrow. Students who are not testing will start the day in second block and stay there until 10.05. Then go back to first block. Schedules have been flexible, so teachers keep an eye on your emails. Now let's check in on the weather with Brady. Thanks guys. Today's high is 67 with a low of 56. There will be a high chance of rain throughout the rest of the day, so be careful when leaving school. For the rest of the week, temperatures will remain in the 50s and 60s, and it will continue to rain, so stay warm. That's all for weather. Back to you. Thanks, Brady. The Capitol Theater is still running the best Christmas pageant ever, presented by Audience of One to tonight and tomorrow. Meet the Grinch. Playhouse 615 in Mount Julia is putting on an arsenic and old, and old lace. This weekend tickets are $18. Now let's hear from Evan with today's sports news. Thanks, y'all. Boys basketball won 65-35 last night and are now 5-2. Girls basketball took a tough loss with a score of 46-40 and failed to 6-1. Prior to the Summit game, we spoke to some of the players and coaches about how the season has gone. Okay, how do you feel the season has gone so far? Well, I mean, at 6-0, and it's hard, you know, hard to have anything to complain about um, as far as that goes. Uh, but I think, I think we're seeing some improvement in some areas. I was really pleased last night. Um, I felt like the things we worked on Monday in practice, uh, we really translated that to the game last night. So that's... That's kind of what we're looking for with a young team and uh, progression each and every day. And, uh, and I think if we do that, then I think we will have a chance to have some success at the end. What do you feel the team is best at? Um, I think our defensive pressure um, is something that's been um, that's that's been a good thing overall, with with the exception of overall in one game we didn't really defend very well. But I think I think the the, the quickness and the ability to, to get out in the passing lanes and create some easy buckets and transition, I think, probably is our is kind of what we're hanging our hat on right now. What's your favorite play from the season? Um, probably the Houston game when like I dove on the floor and then passed it to TK and she made like an and one and she fell on the floor and it was really funny. So. How do you feel about Summit? Pretty excited.
excited. They're supposed to be pretty good, but I have confidence in us, and I think we can pull it out and win. What player have, has improved the most this year, like from probably freshman year to sophomore year, sophomore year to junior year, <coughs> overall in general? I mean, overall, like I said, Landon Ingles is a guy that's really improved a significant amount. Um, two other guys that have really spent a lot of time in the gym and have have uh, elevated their game are uh, Caden Baird, who's a senior point guard, and um, also Grayson Galantine. Those two, all, the, all three of those guys have really, from where they came in at freshman and then over the course of the last three years at the varsity level, have really um, elevated their games and improved, this, improved a significant amount to where they're giving us contributions. How do you feel about your performance so far? Uh, pretty good. I feel like it could be a little better with the ball, uh, less turnover, stuff like that, but overall pretty good. How do you feel about Summit? Uh, good team, uh, feel like pretty confident, um, just how we've been working in practice, uh, that will come back uh, pretty good Friday, uh, hopefully for a good crowd. How do you feel about your performance so far? I mean, honestly, I didn't expect to, you know, come out and do what I've been doing, so as long as I can keep what I, keep what I got going on up and we can get some more team ball going, you know, get other people involved and just keep getting better, we'll be I, I think I've been playing good. I could definitely play better, but could definitely be playing worse too, so I'm good with where I'm at. What's your favorite play from the season? Hey, but my favorite play for me was probably my dunk against Cane Ridge. Got an alley-oop from Jerry. It was a good pass, good game. Both teams will play Gallatin at home Friday night. Girls Bowling won versus Gallatin 17-6 yesterday. They play today against Beach for the district championship. Congrats to Emma Allison, Kayla Hamlet, Alyssa Weiser, and Bailey Brewer on being named the all-district team and to the LHS Bowling coaching staff for being named district staff of the year. Next Wednesday, Elpine will be signing with Barry College for pole vault. The signing will take place in the gym. World Cup quarterfinals are this weekend on Friday morning. We've got Croatia versus Brazil and the Netherlands versus Argentina. Saturday, Saturday morning is Morocco versus Portugal and England versus France. That's all I have for sports. Back to y'all. Thanks, Evan. That's all for you today, LHS. I'm Emma. And I'm Charlie May, and this has been the news to you from, from the, the White and Blue. Blue.